it's Isabella Fusco and today I'm doing a Today I'm doing a get ready with me. I've never filmed one of these before so I asked you guys to ask me questions so I can answer them during this video because I have like five steps in my makeup process. You guys always keep asking me to update my makeup routine that I filmed a while ago. If you are new here, please subscribe and turn on my post notifications so you know when I post. I am getting back into the game. So I have all my products. Some of them are new from the last video. So I asked you guys on Twitter, my Twitter is at Bellafusco with two A's, to ask me questions and I'm gonna be answering them casually throughout this video. So let's get into it. I have a spray tan on right now. I've been getting spray tans recently. I used to bed tan. I'm gonna tell you guys why I don't bed tan anymore. So I just noticed some beauty marks on my arm getting bigger. My mom was like, you should go get those checked out. I have one on my arm and then one on my butt that was getting different. So I went to get that checked out by a skin doctor. They removed some of them and that was really kind of traumatizing for me. He was like, you should be getting skin checks at least once a, once a year. That's not even because I have moles that are growing. Well, not moles, but like beauty marks that are growing. He said everyone should be getting skin checks. So no matter if you feel like your marks are growing or not, I recommend you guys going in to get checked. Um, so now I only do spray tans and that's why my armpits look kind of wonky and that's why I may look kind of orange on camera. I don't know. I also got this mark removed on my face and I have a neosporin on it. That wasn't anything cancerous. So let's get into the moisturizer. Today for moisturizer, I'm going to be using the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. And I just sort of take like the back of my nail and dab it on my face. I also washed the spray tan off of my face before washing it off of my body. So there might be a color difference there. I'm let that sink in a little bit and we're going to start brows. For brows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. I recently dyed my hair darker so I switched from medium brown to dark brown. So I just start with the spoolie side. Actually, I'm going to go in with this first. It's the Brow Bravo Car... Wow. It's the Bravo Conditioning Primer from Benefit. I'm not good at this, so bear with me. I don't really know how beauty gurus go about things. Okay, so let's get into the first question. Maddie said, F*** Mary Kill, Quavo, just me for future. Wow. I can't even answer that one. I can't. I can't even answer it. If you could travel anywhere, where would it be? I would go to Italy because... I am Italian, so I just love to go there. I've always wanted to go there because I was like little. What's your favorite fast food restaurant? Hmm, this is kind of hard. I would say either Shake Shack. Is Pokey considered fast food? Because like I love Pokey and I would eat that literally like a bajillion times a week. I gravitate towards sushi a lot, seafood, Asian food. I really do like a lot of that. Definitely crave burgers a lot too. And I used to go really heavy with my brows, like really heavy. And I didn't really know how to do the, the front end of them. And then I figured out like, whoa, like this is way smaller, way controllable, like a brow pencil. Just so you can get that fine line that looks like a hair. A lot of you have been asking on Instagram if me and Tanner are still friends and we are. She just lives in LA. I live here. I don't get to see her that often, but I will be going to LA soon. A lot to hang out with her. I get that question so often, so I'm gonna finally address it, that we are still friends. Like on my last photo, literally like half the comments were like, are her and Tana still friends? And I get it on YouTube a lot too, so that's why I'm addressing it on here. Okay, now I'm gonna do this part and you guys can see that better. But first, I go in and I line the top. Oh my god, this part looks so weird around my nose, like where my nose piercing is. Will you be at Tana's meetup on her birthday? Um, if she does something, I'm gonna go. I don't know what's going on, I don't know the plans with that. But yeah, for sure. I know that. It's her birthday. So I asked your least favorite food. Probably onions. I really don't like onions. That's it, really, I think. I really am open to trying anything. I just, if it has onions on it, I really won't eat it. But I do like onion rings, if that's weird. The Blooming Onion from Outback. Oh. My. God. A good tip for you guys. I noticed this because I was out one time and I like looked down and my eyebrows looked so weird. I always, when I'm doing my eyebrows, I like look down and make sure that they look okay. I'm trying to give my eyes a rest. Um, I just, I've, no matter what I do, I can't get rid of my dark circles. I'll bake, I'll color correct. My dark circles will just peek through. I think it's because I am Italian. So I've been like looking for like solutions or something I can be doing differently to make my dark circles lighten up. I also have like hollow eyes, so that doesn't help either. <laughs> Weirdest dog name you've ever had. I was actually talking to Yayan about this when Maya got her tattoo. Next, I'm going in with the Benefit What's Up 
cream highlighter. I love cream highlighter because it blends easy, it looks natural, it's not as blinding. I am more of a natural highlight kind of girl. I don't really like that blinding look. But anyways, back into the dog. The dog name. I had an Afghan hound. If you don't know what Afghan hound is, they are the long haired show dogs. I had two of them. One of them was named Uncle Willie. I think the meaning of that was people in my family used to call my dad that. The other one was a girl. Her name was Chicken Lips. Okay, let me explain. When I was younger, they would call me Chicken Lips because I would always be like, like this, like walking around like, and they would just call me Chicken Lips. And I got to name the dog and I was like, I want to name her Chicken Lips. So, and I don't think I really liked the name Chicken Lips. So I named her Chicken Lips so that I would stop getting called Chicken Lips. Now I'm just going down the nose and highlighting. This is one of my favorite things to do. I feel like it really brings my face in. Then I'm gonna take it on the sides of my face. I like to do this sort of C motion and blend it with my fingers because I have that primer and that moisturizer on, but I'm avoiding this this little guy right here. I had like a little build up in my face. It's really inconvenient, but I got it scraped to see what it was. And then on my cupid's bow. Then this also is my favorite part, but I only like doing this part when my brows are semi done. To take this end of the brush sort of flat and I like it like this oh there's hair great Go like that and then i take it underneath my brow bone i do not contour not that i don't know how i could figure it out but i just don't like wearing that much makeup i have eyelash extensions so i don't look dead all the time now is the part where i use powder highlighting this is the lime crime venus palette i've had this palette literally for so long they gave this one to me and one to tana for our first beauty con ever and i have literally only used like two shades one but then I just take this kind of brush, fluffy little brush. This makes me look more awake, more girly, <laughs> like I have more makeup on, you know. I think that's it. For lips, I don't normally do this, but I will today. KKW Kylie collab in the shade Kimberly. This is my favorite one. I'll put this on all the way and then I'll blend it out. Why does my light keep turning off? All right, I opened a window. I look less orange probably. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is what the final look I'll take the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm just giving myself a little. So basically, I just used. Oh, I didn't even put bottom mascara on. I'm gonna take the little, a little bit of Better Than Sex mascara. I don't really like this mascara. It's really clumpy, but it's almost gone, so it's not as. Basically, all I used was like three products, but thank God I did a Q and A because. This video would have been like three minutes long. <laughs> we'll answer one more question. Favorite songs at the moment? I have a few. Right now, I've been really liking this song. It's called ADD by D. Willy. I really like Chun Li by Nikki. She also has a song called Barbie Tings, and I like that song too. How could we not mention this song? Don't Let Me Down by Khalid and Sabrina Claudio. I think that's how you say her name. I've also been listening to the Yeezus album. Those are some of my music favorites. I might make like monthly Spotify playlist. And that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this from me, please do comment below. I have a, another video coming soon. Do not forget to subscribe and click that bell and leave a comment and a like. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.